week 14 in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with returning guest Doug Upstone from sports-watch.com. And Doug Upstone, ever since he started wearing a tie in our videos, has had repeated, repeated winning weeks. And then I was thinking, well, maybe is it a fluke? And last week, 3-0. and You're even getting better. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter, it's a, it's a pleasure to be back. And, uh, yeah, you know, you, you don't uh, go away from a good thing, so uh, the ties keep coming as yeah. long as the shirts hold on. Got Let plenty of ties. You just got to have enough shirts. You are wearing <laughs> a tie again, right? I am wearing a tie okay, again, right. of course. I guess, I mean, we talked about this as soon as you started wearing it. I was like, you know, that's what they say. If you want to be a winner, you got to look like a winner. And I'm kind of like, yeah, that's, that's kind of BS. But maybe it's true, man. Well, it is right now. You know, who's uh, who's gonna who's gonna qualm? Uh, anybody that's watching the videos right now, and if they're if they're playing these games, guess what? Yep. They're picking up cash from us. I'll tell you, last week Arizona State that was a great pick. I it was my lean when I was researching it. I bet it pretty big and won with it. Uh, Stanford though, that was in retrospect that was a great great pick. There were situational reasons why that was a great pick. I didn't have the balls to tail it though, but uh, <laughs> great pick. And you were right with the Bears. All right, let's see what you can do for us this week. We're going to first talk about uh, Northern Illinois uh, and Kent State. Now this is kind of a tough line. I'm not sure where you're going to say you see you see value here. It's the MAC championship game, of course. It's at Ford Field. The winner might get a BC. Uh, uh, bid if uh, depending on how the ratings turn out but um, I'm not sure you know Kent State they're getting six points you know they've been great uh, all year long but one of their uh, top runners Dree Archer has an injured left ankle that he injured in his last game so it's not clear what the status of his health will be this game how much it'll hinder him and if it is if it does hinder him how much that will uh, hurt Kent State Northern Illinois though quality quality team all around what do you like here the, uh, you know, th this is really a rare site for this particular MAC championship because both teams are rated in all three polls. Yeah. And then, as you mentioned, the importance of this game is really magnified because of the uh, bylaws of the BCS. And here's what the deal is, is that if a conference, a mid-major conference uh, champion is ranked in the top 16 above a champion from an automatic qualifying conference in the final BCS standings, the mid-major champion receives the automatic BCS bid. Now, presently, Kent State is 17th in the rankings and Northern Illinois is 21st. Besides that, no Big East team is presently in the top 25. So if this game was big before, it's even bigger now. Yeah. Now, Northern Illinois has won 11 straight games since their late game one-point loss to Iowa in the opener. Now, the Huskies were presumed to be a contender in the MAC West, but having to replace nine offensive starters this year was supposed to be overwhelming. Instead, first-year starter Jordan Lynch set an FBS record for a quarterback by rushing for at least 100 yards in 10 consecutive games and leads a very balanced offense rushing and passing for over 237 yards a game. Now, Kent State has had a historic season with a school record 11 wins and is riding a 10-game winning streak of their own coming into this championship game. Now, no matter the outcome, the Golden Flashes will be in a bowl game for the first time in 40 years. Now, Kent State, as you mentioned, Peter, has an explosive rushing attack with 2,000 yards rusher, and my information has that Dre Archer will actually play in this game, listed as probable, and this attack is so explosive, they average 5.7 yards per carry, which is second in the country only to Oregon. Kent State comes into this contest 12-4 and four in their last 16 games against the MAC Conference. Now, Peter, I have to admit, I have a soft spot in my heart for Northern Illinois. Being a former Midwesterner, in my college days, I drove a Coke truck, that's in Coca-Cola, into Calb, Illinois, and that was the first place where my wife and I had our very first date. But you know what? <laughs> Sports betting choices are not about emotion. Right. This Kent State club has really impressed me with their team speed on offense and defense, and I think they could make this uh, contest very, very close. Let's also consider the history of the MAC championship, where the underdog is 10 and 4 against the spread. To borrow from Lee Corso, who coached actually one year at Northern Illinois, this game will be closer than the experts think. Kent State loses by just a field goal, but covers the spread. 
Wow, that was a classic, classic vintage Doug Upstone preview with uh, some quirky, you know, uh, uh, little tidbits thrown in and uh, probably a strong lean. I got it. You know, the only thing that makes me nervous is the injury to the running back. But, uh, you know, if he if, if he's OK, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Six points seems like it's a bit too much. Thanks so much, Doug.